I'm calling to the blue corner, Tomasz Ron. So, Thomas Ron had an easy one, really, didn't he? Um, fighting Keita Saltron earlier, who had a shoulder injury. <laughs> so, Thomas Ron then, very experienced, as I said, um, 94 fights now. 75 wins, 16 losses with 27 KOs. So he's making his way to the ring. You know, this will be interesting. A southpaw style of Martin Blackass didn't have it his own way. I believe he should have gone an extra round. Yeah. Um, because, you know, he won, he won um, round two and three. He got dropped in round one, so it equals it up. So it's 29 29. And they should have gone an extra round. But the judges see it different. And I'm not going to argue because there's a country of them, isn't there? There is, yes. So yeah, Thomas Cron. Well, ladies and gentlemen, listen. This year, 200,000 euro extravaganza. Uh, the Infusion League, 72.5 kilos, and the names on it are absolutely scintillating. Nordin Van Mo, Mohamed Jaroya, Typhon Oscan, yeah. Johnny Risco. Very, very good fight to name but a few. Grease Bazuku, Grease Lightning, very good fight from France. Yes. So it's going to be interesting. Cantors. <coughs> it's a Gino Sugarman Cantors. You know, these are names that you're going to be you're going to be familiar with. And then let me tell you, you're going to enjoy. So here he comes then. Former Infusion fighter as well. Andre Spibel Hutnik in the corner from the Czech Republic. Spybell is a cartoon character. He was named after him when he was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Information, ladies and gentlemen, be it boring or not, you have to know it. And he Thomas, used, sorry, he on, always wore the glasses into the ring. He did. He did. I know you say earlier, and I know it wasn't much of a fight, but I still believe he really he put a lot of work into his first fight. You know who? Thomas. I don't believe he's quite as fresh as you saying he had an easy fight. I know Gaetan didn't give him much, but he put a lot of work in, I felt. And Pakas got dropped. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, it's not easy for Bates. No, it's not it's easy. Isn't it? it's full stop. It's fight tournament. twice in one night. Fight twice in one night. It's yeah. very hard indeed, isn't it? A lot of fans, a lot of fighters don't do it. I know Giorgio Petrosian uh, is an extremely good fighter. You know, he's a legend. If you don't, I've been looking up. Yeah. And he hates it tournaments. Because yeah. you have to, your body has to get, go in the back you and have to get... And his opponent for this final, representing Slovakia, Martin Patsas! Believe, believe me though, and I think Martin has got a hard ask tonight. Yeah. Because Thomas Gron, very experienced. You know, you're right, he did put a lot of work in, but he had it all his own way. He did you know? have it his own way, yeah. Sautron started off well. The faded as he always does. It's a shame. But anyway, blah, blah. We, we, we keep, we, I digress. But if you haven't noticed, Thomas' uh, ring name is the Rattlesnake, and he has pet snakes. I didn't know that. I know a lot of things. I mean, a real pet snake as well. Right. What, what, do, why do people have pet toy snakes? How does that work then? Sometimes. The mind no, boggles no, as the queen of Muay Thai talks, well, nonsense. So making his way to the ring is Martin Pakas. A crowd uh, appreciates a good scrap and so do we. And if you just join us here on Infusion Live, this is our final fight. We've had some scorchers and we've had some tepid ones, haven't we? That's life. We'll see. And Martin's got tape all over himself that he didn't have on before. Yeah, some disagree that he should be standing in the ring now. A lot of people think that it should have been a fourth round. I do. I do. This by infusionlive.com. Dámy a pánové, toto je hlavní zápas celého večera. A proto všichni společně jedeme bomby! Fighting out of the blue corner. He is 193 tall, weight in and 105 kilos. 75 fights, 27 KO, 3 draws and 16 losses. Representing Czech Republic, Tomasz Rezusny! Run! 
fighting down to the red corner. 199 to 136 kilos. 29 wins, 11 KO and like losses. Representing Slovakia, Martin Panzo! So here so they we'll are. Sorry, Jules. Two heavyweights clashing once again. And this one on the right side of your screen, and Martin. Cut. Cut. No, sorry. Thomas I'm getting wrong. wrong. Not huh? Thomas. Not Thomas. Who's Thomas? I'm Horn? losing it here who's, now. Who's I'm losing Thomas it. Horn? <laughs> I'm losing it. Yeah. Thomas. Thomas so here Horn. we go. South Pole versus Orbodox in the black. Thomas Horn. And in the silver, Martin Pakas. Moving to his right, sharp hands. Yeah. Difficult to deal with, uh, South Paws. You know, interesting how he uses, he wants to use his front right leg. It's difficult because the right hand can go straight down the middle. Front, very experienced. Martin Pakas, only a third of the fight, uh, sorry, yeah, a third of the fights have won, really. Ten years younger as well, though. Yeah. Oh, just walking him down. Good turn. Andre Sputnik, Hutnik, Bible Hutnik is a uh, so possible, you'll know how to deal with him as well. Nice piercing jab. A good, nice combination. That was a sweet left hand as well from Pakas. Sharp. Yeah, he looks sharper now, doesn't he? See, I'd like to see him stab that jab in, though, you know? So they just, you know, just uh, using it as a range finding, you know, stabbing it in. Uh, yeah, Pakas, yeah, it's the right jab, just not really stabbing it in. Yeah, using it, just more working out his distance, that he's in range. Needs to walk, Thomas. then Rob just needs to spin off. Yeah. Move his back leg, pivot out of the way of Grunt as he comes in with that tight guard, using the jab. Grunt just... A little bit of a cut under the left yeah. eye. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit laboured, doesn't he, Ron, at the minute? Yeah. You know, first round they're fresh. It can be uh, great in second and third round. But he is looking a lot slower this fight. Better shots coming in from Pakas. Last 30 seconds of this first round. Twenty seconds. Good job. Nice. He's moving to his right as well, just causing problems for Ron. Good exchanges. Yeah. Should be me in there, really. Well, there we go. End of round yeah, one. Yeah, Pakas round. You know what's interesting as well about a lot of kickboxers? Is they don't really know how to train southpaws, and what they do is they just because they go to lots of gyms and switch around just to have them orthodox, and it's easier for them to teach. Yeah, it's an art in itself. Yeah, it really is. So, there's some good exchanges going on. Yep, good hands, a game variation from Packers. You know, I, I said that in his first fight, he was using the legs and the hands well. Tom is looking a little bit slower this uh, first round of this fight. Yeah. But he has lots of determination and heart and, you know... In abundance, he really does. Yeah. But I just think that, at the minute, Pakas is bamboozling him and scoring. I think once Pakas starts to use the jab, stiffer, steps to his own right, kicks with the left leg inside the leg and the body, I think he, I think he could... Uh, I think this would be quite easy for him. We'll see. Second round. Round two then, Thomas Grani, the black, Pakas 
in the silver. Gets out that corner. Yeah. Pivot to his own. I mean, Pack is still young, isn't he? He's 24. Yeah. He's a good find, isn't he? Yeah. He's got a big future ahead of him. Maybe there's a shot at Jafar Wilness in the future. Southport. Good hands. Let's see who wins this fight first. Yeah. Oh, that was shin on shin. He doesn't need to try Good. and out to, to, you know, if, if Thomas Ron tries to out technique this kid, that's when he'll be found wanting, you know? Yeah. He has to just go for broke. Just throw everything at the yeah. kitchen sink, you know, old man him out of it, mug him really. Definitely. You know? I agree. Because uh, the one shots that it's just not gonna cut it. No, it's not, and, and he's and he's scoring here. Pakas. Just a little bit faster as well. Good jumping knee. He missed. That was just like a camp jump. He said it when he was in mid <laughs> in mid <-air. laughs> yes, He needs to do more work. You know, I do, I do feel awful saying that sat here, you know. You know, <laughs> yeah, been eating crisps all weekend and I'm like, oh, you shouldn't be doing this, you shouldn't be doing that, you know. You've already <laughs> fallen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A nice left cross down yeah. the middle from the yeah. rattlesnake, uh, from the, uh, Martin Pacas. Home. <sighs> Pushing forward the whole time. Nice Good push. Good for the face. You've got a horn on the line, haven't you, Jules? Clipping it. Horn. I even do the accent, everything. Yeah, I know. I know. As soon as I said it, I looked at it. Just moving around, scoring. Good work. Yeah, he's got great footwork, and that's what messed up Heesham before, you know? This, this is what he has oh. to do. This is what he has that's to better. do. Horn. To old man him out of it. Because Pac has set the pace. It's all about him setting the rhythm and the pace. Ron has just got to go for it. He's walking forward the whole yeah. time, isn't he? He just needs to unleash like he just done. Oh. Nice left hand that was. Good, Good swing, swing knee, knee from Ron. Right hand, left hook. Pushes him back. Let's keep that head up. Feeling an exciting the, round. He's feeling the pace a little bit, Pakas, but if he does what he does uh, in the previous two rounds, I think he'll get this. That was great work from Thomas, though. Yeah. He really did step up. Really great work. We're going to see some of that now. Yeah, it's the footwork, isn't it? And the southpaw style of, of uh, Pakas that's causing him problems. Yeah, he's got good footwork. Yeah. Bit just kept coming forward the whole time and he must have heard you you said he just needs to unleash his shots and that's exactly what he done well our next show will be june the 4th from grand canaria yeah awful job someone's got to do it dragging us over there to the sunshine what a shame but listen the fight between maximo suarez and diogo caldo calado is gonna be a scorcher that's coming up on our next edition in fusion Canaria. Show so anyway, number 40. Show number 40, Julie. Your age. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> nearly. Uh, round three. Still Thomas so Ron sharp. has got to mug him off. Go for broke. Really has. Look at him really stepping up this round. Down. They're telling him to keep the work up, working to the body, I think they're telling him. For the knees in well, Thomas. This is better from Bron, just kind of got watertight guards, not out, just kick, punch, throw everything at him, keep walking forward, 
throwing his shots like that, you see? Takes him out of sorts when he puts the pressure on like this. Just, just keep cutting yeah. off the ring. This is better. This is Isn't much it? better from Bron. This is better. No, this is better. This is much better. momentarily up front. He needs to use that jab harder, you know, stick it in. Instead of pouring with it, because it'd stop Ron coming forward. It'd keep that left hand stuck to his face as well, you know? He's learning from this. He's only a kid, 24, yeah. he's got a lot of future this boy, you know? It. He's not really got his man strength yet, has he? You know, 25, 20, sorry, 26, 27. He's been mature later, so maybe later for him. Picks, be an exchange. But he's good. This is a tough round. It is, and it's the best round for Juan, isn't yes. it? Yes. Really digging deep. One see there, left. you see the jab when he uses it then, stiff. So much better. This is that right swinging knee, so good, Thomas. Yeah. He's the hometown boy as well, Slovak. You can tell that, couldn't you, by yeah. <laughs> He should, should have had an extra round. That's in the past. Do nothing about it now. Jumping knee. It gets in close. <laughs> Combinations going in. Oh, driving forward. Yeah. You know you've got to give credit to Ron and he really has tried his best. I just believe he's just not the last two rounds sealed it for me. This round's closer, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Blood coming from the nose of Pacas. I believe Pacas is now in the fight. There we go. A very jubilant Andre Sputnik. A very, very good performance by Pakas. We're just going to grab a quick word with Iman Barlow, who defended us. Iman, you defended your title tonight. The girl was very, very strong, wasn't she? Yeah, she was, yeah. I'll give her credit, haven't you? Yeah, no, she was really good. Um, she was strong and she took everything I got and she made it hard work, you know. Um, the more fights I have, the stronger the opponents get, you know, so it's harder for me to look good, but she was really good, yeah. So. And, and I believe that you've, you've uh, also going to be uh, with Infusion a bit longer. Yes, that is the plan. That is the plan. Well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, this is our superstar from England. We've had a fantastic show. We'll just see the decision right now. So we're going into an extra round. Just thank Iman, a little bit of a chat with her there, just before we find out what's going on. Yeah, so an extra round, and it's, um, is it justified? I don't think so. I really don't. I mean, but, hey, I'm not a judge, am I? One more round. We thought the show was over. We did. I was ready to uh, go to me, have a sleep. <laughs> no after party for me. He says lying through his teeth. So. And the Hron could win this just by mugging him off, by just going forwards. It's who Not letting him it? set the pace. Yeah. Who gives it the most now? Yeah, it's who wants it most, is, isn't it? I think the better the opponent, the better Pakas fights. Will fight, you know? Yeah. This is really digging deep now. They gave everything in the third round. Yeah. Do you think they should have gone an extra round just quickly? Um, I don't. Yes. Okay, fair enough. 
I'm allowed to be wrong. So, <laughs> so this is better from Brown. Looks as though he just goes forward. Oh, throws, just keep throwing it. Make it ugly. Take it away from the temptation. He wants to make it look uh, pretty. Bustles forward all the time. Thomas constantly, isn't he, yeah. pushing forward? Yeah. Cracker's still working away. And those on the back foot. Cracker's really feeling the pace. Yeah. A good shot that was. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice. Bounced off the chin of Pacas. The thing is with Juan now, he just doesn't have to think. Just go forward, not thinking. Obviously keep your hands, your hands tight, but you know, just throw. Leg kicks, knees, punches, everything. Oh! See? Really connecting nice. Yeah. That was nice, sharp Good right hand, hand over the, the top. See, the longer it goes as well for Juan, the more he gets used to the southpaw style, you know? Yes. Find it easier to deal with, isn't it? Yeah. Visibly tired. This is Ron's round so far, yeah, Julie. I agree. I agree. He's pushing the pace, yeah. he's landing the shots. A nice combinations, but a better shot over the top from Ron. Kick inside the leg. The Czech Republic fighter in the black. Combinations just as he falls into it. Pacas. Yeah. Nice set of hooks from Pacas. Corner imploring Thomas Brown to come forward. Really, really tough pace. This is their second fight of the night. Good shot down the middle that was from Pacas. Still got a good chin from oh. driving him back now. This say. is the difference. He's looking on fire this This round. is the difference. Old man him out of it. He's really seconds away he now. Use all the experience. Thomas Grant. Good knee. Great finish. So strong Nice push kick. Should be the end of the round now. Yep. There, there you go, go then. So, uh, right. I believe Thomas Cron has that. But you never know, stranger things have happened, haven't they? Combinations going in this way and that. He turned the tide, I believe, just by going forwards and just throwing his shots and just, you know, caution to the wind, throwing caution to the wind and set old man in him out of it, as I've said on numerous occasions in this fight. So we'll see. Well, ladies and gentlemen, June the 4th, as I said, an absolute sparkler from Gran Canaria. We have got some really, really big names coming through as well this year. It's going to be an exciting one, and thank you for joining us on Infusion anyway. As always, we do a present Fighter of the Night, and Fighter of the Night is Milan Minci Palace. Well, Minci Palace is one Fighter of the Night, and my co commentator there, Julie, who's decidedly okay. better looking than me. Puts an army. There you go. Can't have everything, can I? He deserved that. It was a great performance, knocking out William Dinder in the very first round. Podkazky pro Julie Kitchen, 14-násobná šampionka světová. Fight of the night, Milan Minci Pálež. And now, winner of this tournament, coming from the Red Corner, Martin Pazzo. Absolutely. You know what? I knew they were going to do that. Absolutely. There's nothing for the sport, he won that. For more videos of Infusion, subscribe here so you don't miss out.